Okay, and here we are in a track mode. As you see, you have video for all your collections. You have all these collections now. And then when you get out of the collections, let's get out of these collections here. And then you get to the systems. Whew, long loading screen. All right, we're rocking the Xbox 360 Afterglow controller. This is Mad Little Pixels, Motion Blue version 5, and boy am I glad we have Motion Blue version 5. Looks like there's some themes already installed on here. Showcase, that was installed after the fa fact. Space Oddity is another cool one installed after the fact. So that's cool, a couple themes. I didn't see a loading screen to get started, but uh, that's fine. It just has the standard Motion Blue. Uh, loading screen. I really like the um, Mallow Pixels Hyper Pie image. So this is the um, Space Oddity. When you go inside the system. All right, so we have video snaps. No box art, just video snaps. And um, let's see what else we had here, really quick. Space Oddity, Carbon, Hursty Blue, Motion Blue, Pixel Showcase and Space Oddity. I'm going to keep it on Space Oddity. Um, let's see what we have here. Let's start with Last Played. First, let's start with All Games. This is rocking 13,583 games. Not the most I've ever seen on a uh, 128, but still really good. What are some of the favorites? We have Castlevania and Chrono Trigger. Last Played. We got 007. Some Daphne, a bunch of Daphne games. Nice. So it does have Daphne. I know a lot of people look for Daphne. So going down the list, Amiga, two games. It's, it's probably none. Yeah, it's just a, you can actually get rid of that. Arcade Classics. Now, this is the really what makes us so great is Mad Little Pixel supposedly went through all this arcade pack. And so there's no duplicates. You can hit select. You can search for a particular game. You can go down to T for The Simpsons or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Should have them all. There you go. You have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, two player and one player, a uh, two player and four player. Hope I went over, went over again. There we go. And then uh, let's just go to the. All right, we should have the Simpsons. Booyah. The Simpsons. There you go. So it's the two player world set one is the ROM. So supposedly all these games work. No dupes, just straight up arcade classic. So that right there in itself is awesome, super awesome. Twenty nine fifty seven Atari twenty six hundred six hundred forty eight fifty two hundred seventy two seventy eight hundred fifty nine. I think that's pretty standard. You do have some portables. Atari Lynx seventy six Commodore sixty four. So computer twenty two thirty one. So, uh, yep, you got a lot of, those of you Commodore fans, you guys are hooked up Daphne, and they all should be configured as well. Dragon's Lair 1, 2, Cliffhanger, Badlands, Space Ace is a great one. So what do you got on that? You've got uh, 16. Sega Dreamcast, you got 7. Um, from what I'm seeing here, I think this is like, if anybody's seen his 128 build in the past, the unified layout. I think you're going to see that plus the renewed arcade set with the dupes removed and some other little things. Uh, 90 on the Famicom family disc system. Game and Watch got 55. Those were added. Nice. Those of you that like Donkey Kong, things like that. Uh, game and Watch is, um, well, we're only on Game Gear. Let's see if we can find one. There you go. Like Donkey Kong. See, look how fun that is. Sega doing some more portables here. Sega Game Gear, 250. Game Boy should be 500 something. 565. Game Boy Advance, 900. 1036. Game Boy Color, another 500. 535. Does have Cody installed for you. Master System. So I do need to restart my system. That's why it's turning a white screen right here. Uh, Master System, 281. Sega Mega Drive, 782. 195, 
MSX. 567, Nintendo 64, only four. So Turok, Super Smash, Super Mario, and Super Mario Kart. Okay, just want to make sure I wasn't blowing your ears out. Nintendo DS, nice to see this on there, 23. Bomberman, Call of Duty, whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. We got Bomberman, Bubble, Bobble, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, World at War, Chrono Trigger, Chrono Trigger USA, Kingdom Hearts, Kirby, Kirby, Lionel Trains, Lost in Blue 1 and 2, Mario and Luigi, Mario Kart, Mario Party, New Super Mario Bros, Pokemons, and Zeldas. Nice. Neo Geo, 142. And um, he will have all the um, metal slugs. One through five and X. Nintendo, 791. Neo Geo Pocket, nine. Neo Geo Pocket Color, 40. PC games, I'm guessing is MS DOS, yep, none. Pixel operating system, if you want it. Any ports installed? Cody and Pixel. PlayStation, 17. So this is taking up quite a bit of space right here. You got Brave Fencer, no Video Snap, Breath of the Wild, none of the Video Snaps for the PlayStation games. Three, four, Castlevanias, Racing, Crash Bandicoot, Dire Trilogy, Final Fantasy, Street Fighters, Tomb Raider, Tomba, and Vandal Hearts 1 and 2. So no, no Nintendo C4 game makes for room for that. Scum VM, probably none, none. Sega 32X, quite a few. 30 something, I'm sure. 33. Sega CD, 25. That's a lot of them. Super Famicon, 46. Sega SG 1000, 68. Super Graphics, 5. Super Nintendo, 786. Turbo Graphics, 16. 94. Turbo Graphics, 16. CD, 5 of these. Nice. Nice to see. Vetrix. 20, Video Pack 2, 140, a lot of old schools for you guys, Virtual Boy, 24, and ZX Spectrum, 300. So I did want to see what version of RetroPie this is on, and then I also want to show you guys that this does come with a track mode all ready to go. RetroPie setup loading up, 4.3.7, so a new version of RetroPie. On here. Another thing you'll notice is it has a GPIO shutdown. You have the Bluetooth or background music, Bluetooth standard. Um, what else we got in here? Uh, GPIO things, everything else is standard, standard, standard. If you want to install some more emulation station themes, like uh, Ruckage's SNES theme or something else like that, easy to do. Just connect to Wi Fi and then let's go ahead and switch to uh, a track mode. The other thing you can add is splash screens or startup menus. Okay, and here we are in a track mode. As you see, you have video for all your collections. You have all these collections now. And then when you get out of the collections, let's get out of these collections here. And then you get to the systems. Sinclair, Game Gear. You can go into a system, and then you're in these rooms. You can go left to right with the rooms. Pretty sweet. You can go back to the main menu. And uh, let's just go ahead and test some games here. Let's try Sega CD. Let's just try Echo the Dolphin. So the loading screen is a handsome gentleman. You have to watch that for boot up. And does it have bezels? No bezels. So just straight up play. No bezels, no shaders. Look at those flips. All right, start select out. You're back in. Um, as I mentioned, one of my favorite things about all this is that, um, oh, it has Coleco too. I wanted to show you those arcade games. Here we go, arcade classics. Let's just try 1945 really quick. Should be default select to enter tokens, yep. A 
running very nice, as you see. Picking up fruits, gambling, while I uh, kick butt, take names. Oh, look at those jukes. I like that the bullets aren't going very fast. Definitely helps me out quite a bit. Power up, baby. Power up, baby. Oh, I have health. I see what's going on here. I'm almost dead now. Look at that. Let's see how long I can stay alive with a half a bar. Look at that. Staying alive. Ah, ah. Ah, staying alive. Ah, 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 staying alive. That's how we do it. I think I even got some health. Should we bomb this guy? Whoa, I'm blinded by all this. Whoa! Can't believe I'm still alive. Look at that, peeps! What you know about that? Okay. So, um, there's one game for you. Let's go backwards a little bit. So track mode looks great. The thing I don't like about it is you can't search. So like when you're talking about this many games, it's hard to find a game. And uh, especially with Showcase and some of these other themes, they're just as good. This is one of my favorite Tetris games on the pie. Great two-player game, by the way, too. You guys ready for Tetris? Boom! Tetris. All right, and then when you want to exit, go to over here to track mode, and there should be a little button in here. You got GPIO, shut down, shut down, reboot, update to track mode. Some nice things in here. Or you can just go back to emulation station. All right, final thoughts on this. I love it. I, when Madlow Pixel made the um, Hyper Pi over Motion Blue version 5, I was a little disappointed a couple months back. But now it's finally here. Motion Blue version 5, freshly updated, nice arcade set. Full collections, the 128 gigabyte ultimate image running motion blue. Is it the number one 128 gigabyte image ever made? I don't know if I'd go that far. Is it in the top three? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, beautiful stuff, easy to add on to. You know, you can add a lot more Dreamcast titles, add a lot more Nintendo 64 titles, add a lot more PS1 titles to it if you want to go 200 or 256. Um, it has some great themes already installed. You can install many, many more. It looks great in a track mode or um, emulation station. You have all those options to you. Huge collection of consoles and games. And uh, the only thing that you might want to change, like I said, is add some more things. Maybe you want to add a splash screen or introduction video. Maybe you want to change out the loading screen because you don't want to look at that little pixel every single time. That's up to you and maybe you wanna add some bezels, you can add those in on RetroArch. Other than that, a sweet little case, a sweet little controller, and you're rocking and you're rolling. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna give it an A. Don't forget to like if you could, throw a little thumb. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll catch you on the next one.